guys, Min here from MHK Designs. I'm here to share with you our February 2017 release, but before we start that, I wanted to share the card that I made for this month's challenge. Um, our challenges have recently moved to where they begin on the first of the month and they end on the last day of the month. My card this month <clears throat> uses the simple rose digital stamp set. That's what all of these different images are. And it's also featuring a sentiment from one of the February release sets, which is called Rosy Elements, and I'll get to show you that whole set here in just a second. But I wanted to kind of plug this challenge. Oh, I've also used the stencil and the roses papers back here for my heart die cut. I wanted to uh, give a plug for our challenges because every time you enter, you're entered in a chance to win our grand prize, which is always a free digital set and a free paper pack from the MHK Designs Etsy shop. They are predetermined, but they're in every single challenge post and our challenges are anything goes if you use mhk designs products anything you can use whatever stamps you want and you can make whatever you want <clears throat> or if you would like to you can also create something that goes along with our photo inspiration for the month the other thing about our challenges i am now offering a free panel a free digital stamp panel or card front to use for the next month and I released those the day before so the last day of the month so yesterday January 31st I posted a freebie card front um, how those work is you can only use them for your personal use you're not allowed to print them out and make a bunch of cards with them and sell them you're only allowed to enter the next month's challenge with it so it will only be good for you to use that for this month's challenge if I see any entries and other future challenges they'll just be deleted and they won't be eligible for a prize. Um, and then the third thing is I would not, I don't want you to alter it. I don't want you to change the colors. I don't want you to crop it down so that you can get the sentiment that's in there. And knowing what a fabulous community this is, I really don't feel like I have to do anything more than ask for the honor system on that. So that's another way you can enter our challenges is you can use one of those card fronts. So monthly challenge starts on the first, ends on the last day. And here's my card for our February one. With that said, let's take a peek at the sets that are being released this month at MHK Designs. The first set is called Glory of the Lord. It has one beautiful image. It's a morning glory flower. And then it has five different sentiments. So we have wishing you a glorious day. We have a scripture from Isaiah to my gorgeous friend, a quote from Confucius, and then a scripture from Psalms. And obviously, they kind of have like a glory theme, except for this one, because sometimes it's nice to just have a sentiment that works for anything on there. So there's our set. And here is my card that I've made to go along with this set. So I printed out the image, I've colored it with some Spectrum Noir markers, and then I've added stickles to get that beautiful shine you see there. I kept it kind of clean and simple. I've got my sentiment down here, some faux stitching, some rhinestones. There's some pattern paper back here that I believe is from the um, Get Well Flowers set. And so that's my card for Glory of the Lord. Our next stamp set. It's called Hoppy Easter because you know me and I love puns. So this stamp set features one lovely sweet little image with all these little bunnies, Mama Bunny and her little babies. And then we've got four sentiments. We've got Hoppy Easter, Happy Everything, Each New Day is a Blessing from God, and Thinking of You. So it does have some e an Easter one. But it's got some everyday sentiments as well. I like to try and keep them versatile for you. So there's the Hoppy Easter set. And here's my card that I made for this set. I kept it neutral with some pops of color. Got a little flower down here. And this card, oh, my washi tape is coming off. How embarrassing. Please forgive me about that. This is actually a little easel card. Let me scoot that onto the screen a little bit better there we go so I made mine into an easel card and I've used the hoppy Easter sentiment as my stopper for that easel card this paper is from the Rosie Posey uh, digital paper set let me show you that because that is a new release as well I've used it on a couple of my cards here's that paper pack the Rosie Posey digital paper pack and it actually coordinates with another stamp set so I'm going to put this back away so that I can show you how it coordinates with another stamp set for this month. Our next stamp set is called Lovely Ladies. It has these three gorgeous 
maybe Victorian looking ladies, I'm going to say. They've got flowers and jewels and all sorts of things. And then it comes with four different sentiments. I love the feeling I get when I see you smile. Strong women lift each other to my lovely friend and to my lovely mother. So this could even be used for a Mother's Day set. And I just love these beautiful ladies. I can't wait for you to see everything that my gals have done for this one on the blog. And all of these sets, actually. They've blown me away. Let me show you what I did with this stamp set. Here's my card. So I've used one of the lovely ladies and I've watercolored her and I've got to my lovely friend here. I actually use this purple paper. It's from the Trick or Treat digital paper pack. It's funny because I actually use it a lot more during the spring and summer months than I ever do in the fall because it's so versatile. It's got this hound's tooth. And then this is the French country paper right here. Added some cheesecloth and some sequins and a little bit of faux stitching, some liquid pearls. And so this is my card for the lovely ladies set. Our next stamp set that we're releasing this month is called Pretty as a Picture, another pun. You guys know I love my puns. This one has three beautiful vintage picture images and then three sentiments. We've got wishing you a day as lovely as you, pretty as a picture, and hope you know you are loved. <clears throat> so this might work nicely for a Valentine, same with this one, or you know, everyday sentiments for thinking of you cards. The card that I made with this, this is also the Rosie Posy paper back here. You can see the little leaf pattern. And I printed a picture out very largely, and then I colored it in with a variety of different things. I used some gel pens, I used some, um, Oh, the silver is a Wink of Stella pen. This blue, I believe, is a is, is a marker. And then I added some little flowers, and I like to sometimes do my sentiments on vellum, and so that's what I did across there. So that is my card for Pretty as a Picture. And last but not least, one of my favorite sets that I think I've ever released. I love them all, but this one is just, I don't know, it makes me very, very happy. It's called Rosy Elements. It's got one, two, three, four, five images and three sentiments. And the sentiments, we've got a quote from Laura Ingalls Wilder, and then we've got a single flower can be my garden, a single friend my world, and where there is great love, there are great miracles. And you can put these elements together to create all sorts of things. And this is the set that I said later on would coordinate with that rosy posy paper pack. So I've got <clears throat> some polka dots in here. I've got a floral motif and then I've got the leaf motif from this set made into these papers and they're nice spring colors and they're just so pretty and vibrant and like I said I used it here on this card and then the other card I used it on <laughs> watchy tape still coming off I got to figure out how to fix that. I use the polka dots on my Hoppy Easter card. So this is the Rosie Posy set with the coordinating Rosie Posy paper pack. And instead of just doing one card for this, I made three. So I made a little card set. And what I did was <clears throat> I created my panel with the different motifs down the side. And then I swapped out sentiments. So here I've got the single flower can be my garden, a single friend, my world on the one that's the peach colors. For the yellow, I did the where there is great love, there are great miracles. And then for my blue, I have the Laura Ingalls Wilder quote, it is the sweet, simple things in life, which are the real ones after all. <clears throat> and even though they're not exactly the same placement for the sentiment, I kept them unified by coloring them in a similar way, almost exactly the same, just using different colors. I've got my Baker's twine and buttons that coordinate, and then I've got my um, epoxy dots or uh, enamel dots, sorry. And so that is how I created this set of cards. It was a lot of fun to color these in with the different Spectrum Noir markers that I chose. So that is our release for February 2016. Don't forget about our challenge. Here's my challenge card again. It's going to run again from February 1st to February 28th, and if you enter, you will be entered into a drawing for our grand prize. And stay tuned, because on the 5th, 10th, 15th, 20th, and 25th, 
we will be, re be releasing all of our new stamp sets and each time you'll get to see all of the girls work and it's just going to blow you away. It's amazing. So until next time, hugs and happy stamping friends. Mm -hmm.